Well, good morning, happy people. Welcome to Jupiter Inlet. A couple weeks ago, I did a lobstering video with Yaya here. Unfortunately, as soon as I fell under the water, I like bust my eardrum and I was not able to go down with her and Aubrey. So today, we're gonna go out there and try to spearfish for some lionfish, maybe mangrove snapper, hunt for a lobster. This is what I love about my hometown. The lighthouse, all the sandbars, all the beautiful homes, and there are a bunch of beautiful people that live in this town. So this is Chris, this is David Parra. What do you guys most like about coming out here diving with Aubrey and Lauren? Oh, just getting into the nature and enjoying the, you know, what we have here in Florida to do. I mean, we have spectacular diving. You never know what's gonna happen, but I knew I, one thing that you're guaranteed is to bring home dinner and have a great time. That just led me to something else. Please go to Bowtech.com. They're giving away an epic deer hunt right now. All you gotta do, enter to win. It's super easy. I guarantee you they're giving it away. I think the first week in September, they're gonna do the drawing, airfare, free bow, full hunt at the Grigsby Ranch. It's gonna be epic. And uh, I'm doing my best to be there, so enter to win. Uh, we're diving a totally new spot today that we've never even had marked. We just came out, this is a reconnaissance mission. See what happens. You don't have to have special numbers. The fishing and diving around here is so good that you can come out with your bottom machine, mark something, swim down to it, and guarantee you, you're gonna see epic life. Lobster, fish, probably a shark, more than likely a, a Goliath grouper. Are you ready? Let's go.
Here comes Brito Mas Grande and Deer Meat for Dinner's niece, Lauren. Let's see what they got in the grocery bag. Lauren got her a line fish. Look at that, a stud lion fish. Oh yeah. There's, there's your slipper bug. So we just got back up to the top. Beautiful dive. Most of the lobsters had eggs, but it was just incredible. We saw tons of fish, beautiful coral, just a beautiful dive. But right in there, that's the Juno Pier. And yesterday we were out here doing some underwater video, jumped in the boat, and in 30 feet of water, we did this. You guys, this is no joke right here, what I'm telling you. That's the beach right there. We're like at the beach, just getting ready to go film a video. I look and there's a dolphin swimming by the boat. Now put it in gear. Neutral. That's the shallowest I have ever seen a dolphin in my life in Jupiter. Where's the gap? Hand me the gap from up there, please. Straighten it up. Straighten the wheel. That's the shallowest I've ever caught a bull dolphin in my life. I've eaten a lot of lobster lately, and I am in the mood for mahi mahi. So let's go clean it and cook it. I was just getting ready to leave, head to the house, and a gigantic snook has walked around Aubrey's, or swimming around Aubrey's dock. Snook have a hard time walking, but can y'all see that? That's like a 36, 37 inch fish. Right there in the shallows. Yeah, he's gonna pound it. That's why he's here. I'm not kidding you, that is the shallowest I've ever caught a Mai Mai in my whole life. 32 feet of water, it's incredible. Let's see how he tastes. Oh, you know what? Since I've been in the mood to make some, some baits, check this out. This is one of my favorite baits in the whole world, right here. Cut that down just like that. Come over here on this side. Cut this down just like that. Let's take that there get this right here and then what you do is you just pull that out okay now you can see how that looks like little flappers put a J hook in this sew it up put a little skirt on top you got yourself daytime swordfish bait sounds like fun to me all right so we cut the belly strip out now let's come in here and cut this filet off. There you go. Just like that. Tilt that filet up just a little bit, and then run your knife right down the, the top of it, and look what you're left with. You're left with a beautiful, gorgeous Mai Mai filet. And you know what? When you go out and you catch a fish like this, you're connected to it. It's like you want to come home and cook it up and clean it and, and enjoy it with your friends and your family. All right, you guys, welcome to the kitchen. We got a pan. It's a shiny pan. We're gonna put a little olive oil in it, just like that. And then take your rag, you know, like a paper towel, just wipe it all around. All I'm doing is making this non-stick, and the olive oil may give it just a little robust flavor, but probably not. 
Here's our mahi fillet. Think about it. We caught these fish in 30 feet of water. That's insane. We want to make sure they're boneless and ready to go. See, see how I keep taking these small pieces and throwing them back in there? That's because I'm going to use them for fish fingers tomorrow. All these little tips. And if it has a bloodline on it like that, I'll just I'll just cut it off. The way you treat your fish, you know, if you trim it out and make it nice, it's going to be so much more enjoyable to eat. So there's all our portions of fish. Look how nice that is. Mm. See that? I mean, I know some of you may enjoy the, the rich flavor of a bloodline. I'm just not one of those people. Let's get jiggy with it. A little salt. A little pepper. And a little Everglades Original. Got your bowl. Got your fish. Let's throw them all right in there. Just like that. This is uh, olive oil mayo. This is the fun part, see that? Get your hands in there. So all you're trying to do is lather up all that fish with this. Mm -hmm. take, your, take your fish and roll it out like that. Mm -hmm. Just like that. These are panko breadcrumbs, Japanese breadcrumbs. is just let these things just sort of like fall in love. Fall in love. <laughs> I was thinking this thing. Just like that. And then we'll set them over there. See so guys, this is how I like my fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of my all-time favorite citrus is a ruby red grapefruit. Back in the day, the Indian River, which is just about 45 minutes north of us, it was known for its ruby red grapefruits. And if you grew up around them, they are epic. And so I'm gonna zest some grapefruit. And the, the aroma is just amazing. But try not to get too deep. See how I'm just zesting the outside? If you, if you get too deep into it, um, it, it'll give off more of a acidic flavor and that's that's not what you're looking for. That is some Parmesan and Romano cheese. We're just gonna sprinkle in a little on there. It smells good, it smells like oranges, but makes with the grapefruit, obviously. Here we go, 350 degrees. Go in there and make some friends, everybody. That's gonna be good, y'all. All right, you guys, so it looks like it's pretty much done. I just want to brown the top, so we're gonna throw it on broil. When you're broiling, as you get close, you can leave the door open because all the heat is coming from above. I think that's gonna be about good. We could go a little longer, but I think that's gonna be beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Lastly, we're just going to drizzle some grapefruit, fresh grapefruit juice on top. Take one of these pieces of fish. All right, let's see what everyone thinks. And seriously, this is from one mite. And it's like, feeding four. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve people. That's crazy. When you take your fork, and it just peels away. Yeah. It's not mushy, which means it's not overcooked. It's fish. Fish. That's just perfect. Mm. Dude, Austin Cracker, what do you think? Bomb, bro. You should try that bonito. This is perfect. <laughs> 
Mm, dang right. It's good. Mm -hmm. We caught this fish in 30 feet of water today. We didn't even start filming yet. We filmed it with a phone. We were not ready for anything. Fish swims up to the boat and we scrambled and got them caught. It was a great day. It was a fantastic day. That's what fishing is all about. That's what family is all about. That's what life is all about. So I want to tell you, thank you so very much for being a part of this. Thanks for being an <laughs> awesome, supportive, encouraging part of our life and our channel. I wish y'all were here, but this is all I got for you tonight. Take care, God bless, and we are, are gone. Out.